All right, let's talk about using the calendar. This is something that you are probably going to be using a lot in work environments, setting import uh, appointments, meetings, things like that. Um, so that's something that you can all do from the brand new calendar app here in Windows 10. So first of all, just a quick walkthrough of a couple of nice features that are in here. Obviously, this is the menu button. This enables you to see different months and then also access some other features. You'll see along the left-hand side here that I have access to a number of different calendars. So you can actually change this by going to the settings and then your accounts. So you can add accounts here, Gmail accounts, Yahoo accounts, Exchange accounts. So anywhere else that you have a calendar that you want to sync here, you can do that right from the settings of this application. You also have personalization settings. So this is a nice, uh, basically an accent color. So you can set any accent color that you would like to use in the, uh, in the app here. And then you also have this nice background. So you can see there's a little bit of an effect right there. If I turn that off, that's what that looks like. So you can actually set any background that you would like. So you can use your own pictures for that. And then you also have a light theme if you'd prefer uh, you know, a little bit lighter of a look. In addition, you have weather settings. If you'd like to be able to see the forecast right here within the calendar, so you can see it shows me the highs and lows on these different days here. And then if you'd like to see the weather, that is also an option. So you can see that shows up right here, just like in the traditional Office application, the uh, Office Outlook application. So it shows you the highs and the lows there. And then you have different views. So you can view the current day. There's this nice today button that will always take you right back to the current day. You can just see a day view. So if you have multiple appointments on the same day, you have the work week view, the week view, and then the month view. Now you can navigate through the calendar using this feature over on the left hand side here. And then of course you can scroll through it like this as well. Now what about setting an appointment? Well that's just as easy as clicking on any day, changing the event name, and then you can set the time for the appointment, the location, and then you can also choose which calendar this gets added to. So I have a number of different options right here. And if you need to add more details besides the location and the name of the event, you can go to the more details. Now this actually pops out into another window. So right now this is taking up the window of the calendar, but if I need to be able to see other information in the calendar, I can just tap this button and it opens up the new event creation in a brand new window. So from here I can add notes, I can invite people, and then I can change the uh, sort order of the different individuals that are invited. And then in addition to that, if I were to go ahead and add notes, I have formatting options here so I can do some rich text editing. And then there's a nice review feature here so you can make sure you don't have any spelling errors. So that's just about it for the calendar. It's fairly light, uh, but it does really pretty much do everything that you should need to do in a corporate environment here. And as well, when you do get a calendar invite using the Outlook mail application, you can accept or decline that invite as well, just like you could in a traditional office application.